Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Uh, in the last episode, we did the White World Tendency events and defeated the Archdemon of World 4. Now, I'm in World 5, um, just past where we fought the Dirty Colossus. And uh, as you can see, uh, I've lowered my HP, and there's a little rat symbol uh, underneath my stamina bar. Uh, that is the sign that I'm wearing the Clever Rat's Ring, as well as using the Morian's Blade to increase my damage by a lot. So uh, without those things, with the Dragon Longsword, I was doing 238. And now I'm doing 571. With the bow, I'm doing close to 500. It is ridiculous. So that's probably the weapon we're going to be using to just make this boss fight really easily, or really easy. Um, so the way I used that was I used the Makoto and then just fell off this cliff a few times so that I could lower my health down because uh, the Makoto drains my health. Um, so you don't want to use it uh, hyper mode with the meat cleaver because you'll get health back for every time you uh, attack an enemy. Yeah, the game gives you Widow's Lotus here. Uh, you're definitely going to want to bring some or the uh, Cure Miracle. Um, I personally prefer the uh, Widow's Lotus on this one. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, head into the fog door. That's a lot of bodies. Go forth, Galvinland. May you be unharmed. That is a big hammer. Alright, it's boss time against Maiden Astraya. I love the music. Slayer of demons. This is a sanctuary for the lost and the rich. There is no for you to pillage your Please be quiet. Yeah, look at the damage I'm doing to these guys. It is ridiculous. All right, so this boss fight is crazy. As you can see, uh, Garl Vinland's off in the distance. He's guarding the one-way path to uh, to the Maiden. She's out in the distance way over there. Um, that swamp will give you plague, and then there's these things called plague babies um, that'll attack you and also give you the plague, and they'll stunlock you to death, and you'll die, and it sucks. There's like items around that you could get, but I don't really care for any of that. There is, however, a crystal lizard that we do want to get. Um, hopefully he'll drop faint stones. So let's go ahead and take our dragon long sword. Be careful on this platform that you don't fall off. Oh, like I almost just did. Alright, come here, lizard. Yeah. Alright, we got a pure faint stone and a chunk of faint stone. That's going to be great for our uh, weapon. Now, Gaul is going to go back towards the Maiden now that we're up here. We're going to want to make sure to kill all these guys. Don't leave any of them alive. Because once you attack the Maiden, uh, they'll all start coming after you. So let's make sure we kill all of them. Alright, now I think that's all of them. Let's just be sure. I don't see any of them. Alright. So you could go fight Garl over on the ledge right there, but he's got you trapped and it's really annoying and he's a pain in the butt. So instead, I like just using hyper mode and make sure there's none of those guys around you because they'll push you off this cliff um, and just go after the main herself uh, with arrows. You'll be able to do a ton of damage. Now normally she regenerates health, so that's why you definitely want to be in hyper mode for this so you can outpace her uh, regeneration. So let's start plucking her with arrows. Stop. Yeah, we do Please so stop. much damage. But see, her regeneration is a lot as well, so you gotta make sure you're outpacing that. 
And a few more shots and she'll be dead. And she keeps casting it, so. But we almost got her. And there she goes. Alright. And we got our body back. Oh, which means we're healed. I kind of didn't want that to happen. Um, but let's... Ah, oh, too late. Alright, I was going to put on the Ring of Avarice, but that took too long. So, oh well. So now, um, we can just go right up and collect uh, her stuff. And Garl will just stand there. So, I don't even know if he's going to attack us. Oh, he'll attack us now. Alright, so let's go fight Garl Vinland now. Go ahead and take out our kite shield for this. And we're also going to want our meat cleaver. And the Crescent Falchion. Now, I've already got Second Chance cast, um, just in case something happened. So let's go ahead. Yeah, Garl's just going to come in. What's up, buddy? You going to attack us? I killed your woman. What you going to do about it? Now, you can use this low-hanging cliff to your advantage. Um, nope. Ooh, yeah, he hits like a truck. Um, now, Garl Vinland has a lot of magic defense. Ooh. Yeah, he's got a lot of magic defense um, and physical defense. He's just all around a tough guy. See if we can get a parry on him. Yeah, parry us. Arr, come on. Uh oh. And now we got the rat's ring. All right. So he hit us with that. I would really like to be able to parry him. Come on, man. Give me the parry. God, that attack just comes so quick. I ain't got all day. Come on. Come on, attack me with something besides that quick attack. There you go. You're just gonna stand there. Come on. Now you can just go right past Garl and just go straight for her, but I wanted to fight him anyways. Now he dropped some items. Um, if you uh, if you didn't fight Garl and you just went straight for the boss and then got her soul, and then you come back here, his stuff will be right here, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, now plague kills you really quickly. So we're going to want to get to the boss soul as soon as possible and just warp on out of here. Um, for killing the boss, we might be in on our way to pure white world intensity, which we definitely want to get, but we definitely don't want to die here. So we want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and get out all our stuff just in case. Yeah, we caught the plague immediately. But uh, if we just keep walking, we should be able to get out of here. All right. There's our Archdemon. We got a ring. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And um, off screen, I had uh, went to Stonefang Tunnel. Oh, now that we've killed three Archdemons, the music changes here. That's kind of interesting. Um, but uh, my bow was upgraded to uh, plus four um, because I had... Uh, I had farmed some spy, um, some crystal lizards in Stonefang Tunnel, and then I also farmed some in 
uh, Shrine of Storms. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and get Thou some soul power. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Out of me. Thou soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Out main. And we're going to go ahead and use that soul we just got from Maiden Astraya and take the broken sword this time. Okay. You have a. And head it over to Ed. Hey Ed, what's going on? Alright, let's go ahead and make the blue blood sword. Yeah, you could uh, get um, some type of magic with her soul, I think, but we don't want it. We want the blue blood sword. It is awesome. Uh, it requires 18 in strength, dex, magic, and faith, so make sure you have those. Um, what's also nice about it, though, is that it also has a hidden... Um, bonus with luck so as so now we're gonna start wanting to raise our luck stat um well done because this sword is really nice it's 274 but it's got a sweet move set um it's really fast got a lot of reach and uh it can also be buffed so it's a really good weapon and we have the stats for it, so it's going to be one of our primary weapons besides the meat cleaver. Uh, it's that good. Um, it can do different types of damage, and it's uh, all around just a really good weapon. So let's go ahead and head back to the Nexus. And I'm going to go ahead and die in Boletarian Palace um, so that we can push that tendency closer to black. And then we're going to do the white world tendency then, so 4-5. Alright. So yeah, as long as you stay out of the swamp, uh, don't worry about those plague babies, uh, you'll be fine. So what I like to do to kill myself is I just come over to this fire. There we go. Probably the easiest way to kill yourself in this area. Alright. Go ahead and get our souls. Head back to the Nexus. And then I'm actually going to cut this video here. Um, and then next time uh, we'll do, because World 5 white tendency events are kind of spread out, so um, I'm going to want to do those. Um, probably in one video, so I will see you guys in the next video.